The IEC 60364 standard divides the earthing systems into three categories, TT, IE, and TN. IEC develops international standards for all electrical, electronic, and associated technologies and is the leading international organization in its field. IEC 60364 is the apex-level publication that informs the standards for LV electrical installations. In this sort of earthing system, the connection to the supply source is connected directly to the earth, and the load end or installation metalwork is also directly connected. As a result, in the case of an overhead line, the earth's mass will serve as the line's return path. Because the power distributor only offers the supply neutral or protective conductor for the connection to the consumer, the neutral and earthing conductors must be separated during the installation. TT system, what it means, in a TT Terra Terra system, the neutral of the supply transformer is directly connected to earth at the source, and critically the exposed conductive parts like metallic casings and equipment enclosures at the consumer's installation have their own independent, local earth electrodes. How it works, this independent consumer earth means that if a fault occurs for example, a phase to earth fault, the fault current is directed to the local earth electrode rather than traveling back via the supply network. Because the earthing system on the consumer side isn't shared with the utility system, protective devices often residual current devices, or RCDs are required to detect even small fault currents and isolate the circuit to enhance safety. Key considerations, the TT system is appreciated for its immunity to certain types of interference that might arise from the utility's earthing system, but it demands careful attention to earth electrode resistance and robust fault protection at the consumer premises. IT system, what it means, IT stands for isolated Terra. In an IT system, the supply's neutral is either not connected to earth at all or is connected via a high impedance. How it works, because the neutral is isolated or only weakly tied to earth, a single fault such as a phase coming into contact with an exposed conductive part usually doesn't generate a large fault current, thereby allowing the installation to continue operating without immediate disconnection. The equipment's exposed conductive parts, however, are still connected to earth through local electrodes to prevent dangerous touch voltages. Key considerations, the strength of an IT system is in its continuity of service particularly valued in environments where a momentary shutdown would be problematic e.g., hospitals or power generation plants. However, the same feature means double faults need to be identified and cleared quickly to prevent hazardous conditions. TN system, in a TN Terra neutral system, one point of the transformer often the star point is directly earthed at the source and serves as the neutral. The exposed conductive parts at the consumer side are connected directly to this earth via the neutral conductor. The TN system is subdivided into three types, TS separate, configuration, in a TNS system, the protective earth P and the neutral N are kept separate throughout the installation. They are only connected at the transformer or source. Advantages, the separation ensures that any fault currents are directed via the PE conductor and provides a clear path for fault protection. This separation is often seen as the safest configuration because problems in one conductor will not adversely affect the other. TNC combined, configuration, here, a single conductor known as PN protective earth neutral performs both the functions of neutral and protective earth throughout the distribution network. Advantages and considerations, while it reduces the amount of cabling and can be more economical, using a combined conductor means that a fault in this conductor could compromise both the neutral and the protective earthing function. Some installations may risk having inadvertent sharing of fault currents that could lead to safety issues if not rigorously maintained. TNCS combined separated configuration, the TNCS system is a hybrid. Near the supply source, a combined pen conductor is used, but at a certain point often at the service entry system it splits into separate PE and N conductors for the remainder of the installation. Advantages, this configuration provides the economic benefits of a combined system for the bulk distribution while ensuring that the final run to the consumer is safer, due to the separation of the protective functions. Additional insights, why the distinction matters, each earthing arrangement has its trade-offs. For instance, TT systems are excellent at avoiding interference from the supply system, but they require robust local protection mechanisms. IT systems help ensure uninterrupted service during a single fault but demand vigilant monitoring for multiple faults. TN systems, with their subdivisions, offer varying balances of safety, cost, and performance.
applications and considerations, TT systems are often preferred where independent protection is needed and where the connection to earth may be more reliably controlled on site common in rural or telecom installations. IT systems find favor in critical environments where continuity is paramount even in the event of a fault. TN systems particularly TNS and TNCS are widely used in urban and industrial installations for their balance of safety, ease of fault clearing, and cost effectiveness. Remote areas use TT, where the cost of an additional PE conductor outweighs that of a local earth connection. Especially in older properties, where safety might otherwise be at risk by the fracture of an overhead PE conductor by, say, a fallen tree branch. In most TNCS systems, TT supplies to individual homes when a property is deemed unfit for TNCS service. Installations on a construction site, a farm, or a swimming pool may be improper unless additional measures, like installing extra earth electrode is adopted. For LV system earth, TT earthing helps in earthing such devices when low voltage arises in the system. All metallic enclosures and extraneous parts are at equal potential. Protection from lightning because of low fault current. Protection from earth fault current because of low resistance path. Advantages of TT earthing, simplicity very few calculations when installing, extension that does not necessitate the calculation of lengths, fault currents are low, there is very minimal upkeep, operation with a low projected current source, ease of entry for conductors, smooth edges, it is economical, safe and high graded in use, good withstanding capacity against harmonics supplied in the system.